listening to a special edition of Wake Up America, Wake Up. In today's podcast, we will discuss what's happening on our college campuses. We will discuss how this moral breakdown in our society has affected our college students. We will also discuss who are the financiers behind this chaos that is happening on our college campuses. Well, let me not keep you in the dark. We have been hearing, we have been witnessing this chaotic behavior by college students protesting on behalf of the terrorist organization known as Hamas. That's right, folks. They're not protesting on behalf of the Palestinian people. They're protesting on behalf of a terrorist organization who is a sworn enemy of the nation of Israel, who is being supported by Iran, who are literally chanting from the river to the sea Palestine will be free, which is basically an infringement on the right to live of the Israeli people in the Middle East. They don't just want the Israeli people to uproot themselves from their promised land. What they want is the total extermination of the Israeli people. And where have we seen this before? Well, we've seen this before when Germany, under the Nazi control of Adolf Hitler, created camps in which millions of Jews were executed, were thrown into furnaces. Now, you can be a Holocaust denier if you want, just like those of you that are October 7, 2023, deniers of the Hamas attack on the nation of Israel. You can be all that. But the truth is, you're supporting a terrorist group via the funding of George Soros, David Rockefeller, and the Pritzkers. That's right. That blood money is being used not only to incite violence at college campuses, but is also being used to brainwash these college men and women who are supposed to be the future of this nation. But unfortunately, these low-brow, blue-haired, knuckle-dragging assholes are outright not only supporting a terrorist group, but burning the American flag. So I say to them, if you're in support of a terrorist group like Hamas, then let us get you a one-way ticket to the Gaza Strip so that you can join your fellow terrorists, brothers and sisters. Because you see, folks, the morality in this society has broken down because of blood money from these donors that I had mentioned. The same donors that during the 2020 presidential election funded Joe Biden. Come on, man. So I ask you folks, when we explore the concept of morality, the principles guiding right and wrong behavior, what comes to mind? What comes to mind is that according to Oxford's Leaner Dictionary, morality 
is principles relating to right and wrong, or good and bad behavior. In addition, it is further defined as the degree to which something is right or wrong, good or bad, etc., according to moral principles. Like ethics, it is a system of moral principles or rules of behavior. Morality refers to the principles that determine what is considered right or wrong, good or bad behavior. It is shaped by moral principles or rules of behavior similar to ethics and forms a system that guides individuals and societies in making decisions and taking actions based on what is considered right or wrong. But yet when we look out at campuses like Columbia or Hunter College where protesters are not only verbally protesting with their words, but they're being violent to the point that they're taking over school facilities, that they're creating encampments, that they're threatening the safety of other students, not just students that are Jewish or of Israeli descent, they're threatening those people that don't conform to their ideology that Hamas, a known terrorist group, is in the right, that they're the good guys. But like I said, you have deniers of the Holocaust and you have deniers of October 7th, 2023. And our college students are being manipulated by blood money from the Soroses, from the Pritzkers and the Rockefellers to create this chaos all over our nation. For what? For what? Because, I mean, Israel has a right to defend itself. And so do the Palestinian people. But the Palestinian people are being governed by a terrorist group who are provoking these attacks against the Palestinian people. And our college students don't realize that the Israeli attack that took place, this has been going on for centuries. They are probably the most persecuted people on the planet. The men are killed. The women are killed and raped. The children are killed. And yet we have college students, these snowflakes, that think that they know it all, that they know what's going on, that they understand the concept of humanitarianism versus terrorism. They're in support of a terrorist group. And thank God that, you know, this virus, this cancer, has not spread to every single college student because we do have those college students who bravely brought down the Palestinian flag and hoisted the American flag. As part of the protest, these college students, which are mostly made up of American citizens, are burning the American flag. Well, hell, man, if you're going to burn the American flag, get the fuck out of the country. Go to Palestine. Get the fuck out. We don't need you. Is this what your education has brought you to? That it has made you into a useless, manipulative, money-seeking perversion of a college student? You should be ashamed of yourselves. And you also have agitators who don't even go to the colleges that are creating turmoil and chaos that are making it unsafe even for our riot police. And why do I say that? Because the funding, some of it is specifically going into training these agitators to defend themselves against the riot police. So in other words, not only are the college students being radicalized, but they are also being militarized to go against the authority in our country that is to me that's just terrorism so when college students get busted they get arrested and and please you know don't 
they're, they're crying out, please don't don't do anything to, to hurt my future. Your future has been set when you've committed your support to a terrorist organization. Not only should you be kicked out of the college, you should be kicked out of the damn country. Because there are military men and women who have given their lives for the American flag, for your constitutional rights, and that you would go ahead and spit on the flag and burn it at college campuses? This reminds me of what happened in Kent State during the Vietnam era. Now, those college students were actually protesting the war because they didn't want American men and women to fight in a foreign war, which makes a whole lot of sense because you have men and women now who are protesting to allow for a terrorist organization to exist in the Middle East. That's what you have. There is no morality. There is no conclusive reasoning behind the support of college students for a terrorist group. So folks, let me tell you something. If you're one of those college students that believes that from the river to the sea that, Israel, that uh, Palestine will be free, you are culpable. You are part of a growing animosity at a growing organization of a growing terrorist organization in trying to annihilate the men and women of the nation of Israel. To be ashamed of yourselves. Wake up, America. Wake up.